and welcome you guys back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I maintain and take care of my two strand puffy fluffy twists. Um, these, these are the twists here. I absolutely adore the style. Um, I do have a tutorial on how I did this, um, how I put them in, how I curled them and all that jazz. And I will put a link in the, to that video somewhere in this video or also down below in the info bar for people who are on mobile devices. Now, um, I've had these, these in since maybe about the 15th or the 16th, um, of last month. And they are really, really, really nice. I absolutely adore this style. They're kind of old and they're getting to that point, but um, I'm still rocking them and they still look good. I absolutely love this style. So, um, the hair that I used um, is not your traditional two strand twist hair. This hair I actually ordered. Um, I don't know if it can be found in stores, but it's from the Nappy Collection and it's called the Afro Puffy Twist or Afro Fluffy Twist. I'll make sure it is a notation in this video with the correct spelling and everything. I also will share with you guys where I got this hair. Um, I purchased it online from nappycollection.ecrater.com, I believe, and it was only $9.99 a pack. I did get three packs of hair and $8 for shipping. So I believe I paid like $38 bucks or $37 and some change. Okay. So, so far, so good. I am loving the hair. Now, what I do to just kind of maintain it and moisturize it, I'm going to share with you guys because, yes, I have washed my hair. And what I like to wash my hair with um, when I'm walking a weave or when my hair has been um, put up for a while we tend to get that very itchy dry scalp and something that I love to wash my hair with is a therapeutic um, shampoo and conditioner and my favorite 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 is the app is the Paul Mitchell tea tree shampoo and shampoo and conditioner okay this is amazing it feels so good on the scalp and when you're dealing with a very itchy dry scalp it really does relieve it it gives that pepperminty fresh smell and this just smells amazing when your hair touches your face this scalp feels like it has menthol or something on it it just feels so good it really does help relieve itchy scalp okay so that is why i choose to do things like that when i have rocked the weed for a while braids etc all right now what i love to moisturize my hair with is um, coconut oil. I've been using coconut oil for over like seven to eight years and I just absolutely love it. I actually take two tablespoons a day. That does help with weight control um, and it's good for your hair, it's good for your skin, it's good for your lips, it's good for everything. This is like an all-purpose oil that everyone should just have. You can get it from your local grocery store. Okay and the best kind to get is the unrefined organic virgin coconut oil. Okay. I have here coconut oil and it is the actual um, coconut oil that is unrefined cold pressed um, I don't believe this yet and it is organic okay so this is the coconut coconut oil I choose I used different kinds but this was the kind that I found and what I like to do is this it is melted right now so I just take it in my hand get it all over my fingertips and I like to get to my scalp and just rub it in okay so this is what I do to moisturize my scalp and it just feels so good I really don't put it on the hair because then I don't want the hair too early because it is falling on my face but I really focus on the scalp area okay I keep my scalp nice and conditioned and this is my love here. It smells amazing, amazing, amazing. So this is what I do to my hair um, throughout the week and even after I wash it. Um, yeah, I absolutely love that. So this is my choice. Now for my edges, um, one of my tricks um, throughout my life that I found was um, actually setting foam. Like you can get the foam or you can get the setting lotion. Um, I just have the actual liquid, but you can, if you was to put this in a dispenser, it will come out as a foam. And what I like to do is um, when I have a lot of new growth and I don't feel like um, rebraiding them, I just take this and I put this on my hair where my parting is, on my sides, and then I'll follow up with my also favorite Moroccan Argan Oil um, Eco Styler Gel. Okay, and I'll just place that on my edges. I haven't today. 
and I will just tie it down with a scarf for about an hour and then my hair is laid. It even lays down all the frizz, okay? Now another thing that I love to do is I'm, I'm usually wear my part in this area and when it's getting kind of, my new growth is really shining through and it's really, really bad, what I like to do is just take the areas, the braids right here, this, this one row, all around the party, and then I do my whole perimeter. And I'll just re-braid those and re-dip them. Okay, put a rod roller on the end, re-dip them in hot water, and it looks, it looks nice. You know, it looks looks really nice. It doesn't look like a brand new hairstyle, but the parting area looks really nice. So it doesn't look so bad, okay? So, so far, so good. I am loving this style. I absolutely adore it, adore it, adore it. It is so easy. The hair is so light. Um, from this day forth, if I ever do two strand twists, it will be with that hair because I adore that hair. I get so many compliments about this hair. It is so beautiful. As you guys see, it is still nice and fluffy. I love it. I absolutely adore this hairstyle. So for those who had questions about the two strand twists, yes, I am still rocking them. I still love them. Um, that is how I care for them on a day to day basis um, or maybe once a week because uh, I don't like pulling gel on my edges all the time. Um, if I don't put gel, then I'm using this. I just lays the hair down. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I answered all your questions. Um, I think I'm going to come back with a styling video showing you guys how I style them because I do rock them in a you know quite a bit different styles but the majority of your time it is just kind of down and loose like this because this is very sexy to me very sexy um yeah this here i use a bigger roller so that's why it's kind of loose and then i use smaller rollers just in certain areas to give like a, some volume so it looks kind of like a curly hairstyle but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions please feel free to ask me do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like this video and like i always say stay blessed stay beautiful but always stay you yeah.